Hey there guys, what is going on? Ty here and welcome back yet again to another Gran Turismo 7 setup video for the channel. Today guys, we've got the Ferrari 458 Italia GT3 and if you have tried my Lamborghini Huracan GT3 setup, this is pretty much exactly like that although the Ferrari has a little bit more stability at higher speeds so it's a little bit more beginner friendly MR car I would say not the easiest to drive I did have to give it a little bit of understeer to keep the back end from stepping out constantly and trying to kill you even with the new 1.25 update um, the MR cars are still always going to be MR cars so we had to address that issue and add a little bit of hint of understeer just to try and keep this car st stable and balanced all throughout each and every bend so you can go around for instance like bar first uh, down the dipper and you know not die so yeah let's go ahead and dive straight into the setup as always guys a like and a subscribe is always appreciated and it's free so let's go ahead and look at the overall setups i have for this car so for the italia we have two setups so we've got the maxed out unrestricted setup and we've got the bop setup so let's go ahead and focus on the maxed out setup first and we'll go over the bop next so for this one racing soft tires suspension is fully customizable with body height adjustment at 60 to 70 anti-roll bar is 4 to 6 Damping ratio compression is 28 to 34. Damping ratio expansion is 38 to 40. Natural frequency is 3.95 to 4.05. Negative camber angle is 3.0 all around. Toe angle is out 0.10 at the front and in 0.20. Moving on to your LSD, so you will have the fully customizable differential. Initial torque is at 35. Acceleration is set to 5 and braking is set to 25. Moving over to your aerodynamics, so for the downforce for the front, 450 maxed out on that, and for the rear, 610 is a nice balanced out uh, aero package there. ECU is at 100% and your power restrictor is at 100%. Transmission is fully customizable racing transmission, and that is preset to 330 kilometers an hour. Moving on over to the performance parts, so for this one you want to run the medium RPM turbocharger, gives off the best overall uh, gains around the circuit the high rpm gives you slightly more horsepower and torque but looking at the curve it's just not beneficial for a racing situation so i would recommend medium rpm moving on to your brake balance controller so for this one i would recommend whatever you feel comfortable with i sometimes run it at various settings for instance at minus two to minus depends on your driving style and also on the track as well but having it on null is going to be a good all round balanced out brake bias and that is for the maxed out setup so let's go ahead and look at the BOP one so for the BOP one nothing's really changed apart from adding a bit of ballast which is at 55 kilograms at minus 50 to try and make the uh, weight distribution a little bit better overall and you can see there in the blue the front rear weight balance is a lot better than the maxed out one which means you have a lot more stability when you drive in this car power restrictor is at 92 percent and your transmission is preset now to 290 kilometers an hour and turbocharger i've tried experimental with the turbocharger on the bop setup honestly there wasn't much gains or anything like that the having it stock just always edged out a little bit on every track that I tested it on and that was quite various tracks from ranging from like Deep Forest Catalonia, uh, Interlagos, Spa and Norch Life as well so I try to do a balanced circuit uh, just to get a good feel of the car and yeah the turbocharger definitely have that as standard on this BOP setup but that's it for this setup guys for the Italia GT3. I'm going to leave you guys now with a reference lap around Catalan to showcase what this thing can actually do in its maxed out performance set. So take care guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. 